Hey there YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to look at making pen blanks from HDPE. This one here um, is one I've bought previously. It's made of resin. Hopefully we're going to achieve something similar today with uh, HDPE. I'm trying to get more use out of throwaway plastic. So I'm going to use the panini press today to get some of the HDPE melted down. Um, and hopefully this mould uh, it's stuck together with some double sided sticky tape which for now should hopefully do the job and uh, I should be able to get them apart and then get the blank out from inside of it. That's me got the gloves on. Um, we are still using the same colours that we had. I haven't got any new ones as of yet. I'm still waiting on some more plastic being used uh, but in the time being we can make use of what we have here. So, same as in the previous project. Um, make sure you've got some grease proof paper on the HDPE that you're going to use. Um, so in this case we're going to use some yellow, some black, some white. So I'm going to go with the solid black today. Just don't want any of the plastic touching the actual panini press. So I'm going to leave that for a couple of minutes. I do apologise for the banging a moment ago. Um, that was the mini maker trying to get into the workshop unfortunately with using the hot plastic just wanted to make sure that he was safe um, I am going to use this resin blank so I'm going to squeeze it down with this as much as I can um, I'm trying to achieve a better blank today due to in the mallet video obviously we did have quite a few air pockets in there and I'm going to try and, and achieve something a little bit better less air pockets and more of a consistent solid structure so I'm going to open the panini press now and should be able to fold it over on itself, I'm going to roll this up as best as I can, put it pressed down once more, I'm just hoping this is going to be enough to fill the blank, um, so I'm going to fold it over again, Managed to get this uh, panini maker cheap online, uh, second hand. I don't need it for food or anything, it does the job that I need it for. Uh, I think I paid probably £10 for it. Um, I've had a look for some heat guns, as obviously in the previous project we saw that a heat gun would definitely come in handy. Um, now, straight away, I can tell that's not, never going to be enough. Throwing a load more yellow. There is plenty of black in there. A load more white. A little bit of this on top. Same again. I'm going to apply some pressure across it all, try and flatten it out. Heated rolling pin. That would work perfectly for this. So I have just been coming back to it, checking on it, and just applying more pressure. Obviously, this is taking a little bit longer uh, due to the amount that we put in. Um, the added plastic should hopefully make it enough to fit inside of this. Um, it's very, very makeshift and you know, it's, it's generally just a bit of a trial, and if it works, I'll then make an improvement on it. Knowing my luck, it'll probably just melt to it, so we'll see. Right, so this has been in here a little while now. Um, I found that if I lifted up the top layer of the greaseproof paper, I could then use this to press it down and try and spread it out a bit. So we should be able to get it out of this, put it into this, leave it to cool, and once that's done, it should hopefully pop out. So... <laughs> I can't see this happening. Honestly, I really can't. Um, if this doesn't work, then you know, onto a new, onto a new mold. But for now, let's give this one a go. And as quick as I can. Quick as he can, he says. That went down a bit easy, so I'm at thinking that this wasn't deep enough. Let's try a bit with this, see how we get on. Talk about being prepared. Not. Which I'm hoping is a good sign that it's still quite malleable and 
Um, it's actually blown the sides out of this, so that's great. That's obviously what we wanted. So, at least we know that there was enough to fill the mould. Right, I think it's now coming, something's just snapped somewhere. The bottom, it's breaking out the bottom. It all doesn't matter, it's all practice. So as long as it works in theory, you know. Next time it'll be quite easy to do, uh, let's do another one. Hey, that's not bad. Not bad at all. So I do think that that's going to be the end of this blank uh, mould. So I am just going to break apart this mould now. Wahey! Well, so that is what we're talking about. Check that out. It's still very warm. <laughs> um, so I can just dunk this because it is still warm and it's still probably going to be quite soft, especially inside where it's it's going to have retained most of its heat. Um, I can just drop this in water um, and it would would lose all its its heat um obviously into cold water i don't want to make my videos too long so i think i'm going to leave it at that for now and then in the next video i will turn it on the lathe i might have another go at getting uh, one of these made out of something uh, maybe try and do it out of all one piece so it doesn't break apart like it did with this one maybe that's a job for the cnc and uh, maybe we make a couple and uh, we can get a few of these made out and um, hopefully I'll have some more colours and really turn into something nice. So as I say, next video, I am going to turn this down into a pen. Hopefully by the end of it, I'll be writing with this. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe you learned something. I know I did. And uh, hope. Hey there, YouTube. So I decided that I would actually be on camera for this one. I, uh, I got a visit the other day from an extremely large bumblebee. Um, obviously it's a queen bee looking for its home for summer. And uh, I decided that that is what we're going to call this blank, the queen bee. So I did manage to get the bee outside quite safely. Um, so I did decide to dedicate this one to the bee. Still very, very warm, which is why I'm throwing it around. It's not just because I want to. Um, it's because I still can't hold it in one hand yet. So I'm going to leave this to cool down. Um, hopefully I've compressed it down enough. We don't have any air bubbles in it as such. Um, if not then you know we, we need something better for next time we need a better clamping system so yeah let's uh let's see how we get on <laughs>